Reverend Deccan explained that the political class in the country should be held responsible for all the political woes happening within the political domain. According to him, the insecurity and other related vices experienced within the country is the handwork of the political class, he said. From the north to the south, east and west should be held responsible for this kidnapping and the criminal activity that's going on. By the way, you and I know very well that an ordinary Nigerian that has not fed himself cannot have access to arms. Hmm. Who gave them arms? Who trained them? If they give you an AK-47 now, can you handle it? Do you even have the money to go and buy it? Now, these criminals, to my best of knowledge, seems to be political talks that have been abandoned. I say from the north to the south, east and west. Hmm. It, it cut across ethnicity. It cut across religion. It cut across social strata. When you go and organize hoodlums and use them to champion your political interests, for instance, and by the time you go to an exerted office, you lock up the gate against them, you need to retrieve the arms you have given them earlier to fight your political opponents. According to him, there is a need for the political class in the country to appreciate and understand the reason for democracy and not to pluck their country in the state of anarchy and insecurity. Really should be sincere. Leadership is all about success and achievement, not about looting. Elites should be sincere. They should know that Nigeria must first of all exist before they can have a platform to lead. If there's no structure of society called Nigeria, there will be no place for them to stand. So what they are doing now is tailoring towards scattering this nation, which if they succeed in doing, they will have no place to rule. 